Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Warplanes. We're doing something a little bit different today. This isn't purely gameplay today. I've been wanting to talk about for months the state of the game, specifically in regards to premium aircraft. Premium aircraft are aircraft that we spend actual money on, or gold in the game, uh, that, that are, that in, in an ideal world, are slightly stronger than the aircraft that you can find in the tech tree, but also have extra benefits like generating extra silver, allowing you to train any pilot, and just overall being fun to play. However, I do not own every single premium and I have not encountered them all, so I have a little help from Corvus. If you don't know Corvus, he's active in the Warplanes Discord and just in the community in general. He does airplane reviews and is very knowledgeable in the actual mechanics of the game, uh, where I'm more knowledgeable in how aircraft are supposed to fly. Uh, so if you want to say hello and stuff. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, good to be on. Thank you for having me. Uh, F-2200 uh, and I have uh, flown together a bit, and uh, uh, I feel that we get on pretty well, and I would love to talk about premium planes, um, and I would also love to fly with you. All right. Oh, hold on, everybody. Hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and leave comments. Yes, leave comments. I, I I like interacting with people. It's uh, it doesn't happen that often. <laughs> That's why they got to leave the comments. Come on, yeah. folks, get down there, and leave right. your comments. So, I think a good plane to start with is actually one they just nerfed at the beginning of the year, the XP fifty four. This thing used to run havoc at tier six and absolutely kill everything in sight, from what I recall, because I fought against it a lot. Uh, so, what do you? How is it now after the nerfs? I think it's actually in a fairly balanced state. But uh, I, I, uh, I would, I agree with you on on all counts. When when it first started out, it was essentially a large Spitfire, and people played it that way. It had a, uh, its uh, pitch authority was absolutely monstrous. So you could get it to turn like nobody's business. Uh, the the guns were brutal because the cooldown the cooldown cycle on those things were really long. You could you could just push down on uh, the trigger and just let it rip, uh, and pretty much anything. You didn't have to hardly do anything. Also, if I remember correctly, the auto aim was set so that pretty much all the rounds hit, and so here you got these big cannon and you've got these machine guns and you've got this plane and it's got this crazy climb rate and turn rate and of course you know everybody took the thing out and just absolutely ripped up tier six with mm -hmm. it i and, remember I and was, um, uh, tier seven yeah and i i remember i was uh flying with tailblazer one of the people that i've recorded uh videos with already on warplanes and she hates these things, these things. She's still scarred from when she was in Tier 6 for the first game and she got her tail kicked <laughs> in by a flight of XP-54s. And there was, like, nothing I could do about it because I was, I was in a P-51A. I could chase one of them around the map, but I couldn't, I couldn't take care of the other one. Right, yes. No, and that's the thing, is that, is that there, there's some decent planes that could take care of them, like the P-51, and if they got down low enough, the tornado. The tornado was especially uh, brutal on these guys. Yeah, tail um, was in a Spitfire. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the, and the plane I'm flying right now is actually not too bad at it either. If you catch them unaware, if they, if they saw you, you were, you're going to be toast. Uh, but, but if you caught them unaware, you could really, that, that was one of the things about, and still is, about the uh, XP-54 is that it's, um, health point pool is low-ish. Low for um, a heavy fighter. Yes, low for a heavy fighter. Uh, and so it's uh, not the greatest when it comes to uh, comes to surviving a, a hit and run, which is why you could you could fly other stuff like the KI-102 or the, or the ME-410 and you know, do pretty well yeah, I was about to say, like, I have a hard time against 102s when I'm flying this thing. Like, 102s can actually, like, turn with me, and, like, they have a bigger gun, so they hit hard. Yes, they do. 
So, like, after the nerf, this plane just... I would say this plane is actually fairly strong. Still strong. But it's killable, again, by other heavy fighters. And, you know, altitude light fighters can catch it like it used to be. And I think also, as part of the nerf, it, it's got a 20% chance to get into Tier 7 matches? Yes. That is, that is true. And, uh, and, and I'll tell you something. It's... It's wicked. Um, uh, even in Tier 7, it's wicked. Oh, yeah. So... I've done well. I've done well in this thing. And I'm not even really the best heavy fighter pilot. Yeah. Oh, there's Gotta, also a uh... P-39 in this game. How would you rate the P-39, personally? Oh, the P-39 is a fantastic Tier 6 um, uh, light fighter. So, that big gun and those um, and, and those uh, uh, other machine guns on you the can, wings and all of that. Yeah, they, it's got a yeah, lot of guns no. on that thing. Yeah, and I mean, and they're good, right? So, I mean, that's the that's really the issue is that. Uh, it is that the XFL one? It's like the XFL one, uh, except it's got more guns. Yeah, and that's great. But uh, it, it's what happens is you get you you get better uh, guns. Well, yeah, it's an up it's up tier from the XFL. Of course, the guns are right. better, and I mean a lot better. Honestly, there's a part of me that would say they better be better, considering the P-39 costs some money while you can get you get the XFL for gold. Right. Yes. Um, the downside of the oops, I made a mistake. I, I didn't get I didn't get enough separation from that guy. But that's fine. I uh, I was talking and wasn't paying attention to my separation. That's fine. Hey, at least you didn't lose the head on to the app. No, it, oh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hate that a lot. So, the if I can get him to chase me, then if somebody could go around and cap and cap, 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 that's uh, that's great. We gotta we gotta do a better job of capping here. Um, stop your yapping and start some capping. Oh, we have a point uh, lead. Yeah, right. we're we're we're, do, we're doing okay. Here's the P3K. Um, so, so the the. The XP-54 is one of those planes. Uh, I, I love it, uh, even as it sits right now. And the reason is, is because it's, I'm a heavy fighter guy. I'm a boom and zoom guy. As a boom and zoom and a heavy fighter guy, I, uh, I like planes that can do that kind of work. And now the, the XP-54 is just another so, good. There's a Friedrich on me. I don't have any boost to get away. All right, on. come come my way. I'll do a head on with him. Yeah, he's chasing me exclusively. Me. Oh, I set him on fire. Nice. Oh, now he's gonna turn. Ha ha ha. Okay, now I boost away. Now I'm gonna turn around because I've got some separation. Yep. And he's heading me on, which means he dies. Nice. That's that's what you call teamwork. Folks. That is what you call teamwork. <laughs> that in fact, that's uh, if you want if you want to talk about overpowered, that is the most overpowered aspect of the entire game. Mm -hmm. is, having is having one person that you can call on say, "Hey, I'm getting chased." Yep. All right. So, so is that guy going to chase me? No. Uh, P38J is yeah. is goofing around with us. Where is he? Up here with me. He crashed into me. Oh, well, that's a great idea. He died, though. <laughs> I was turning away. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go over and cap this garrison. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I've been I've been goofing around long enough. I uh, I, I went and def did some defense. You know, you got to do that in a, in a multi-role fighter. So, uh, so to get back to the XP54, the XP54. Now, in the hands of a heavy fighter pilot, can still be really brutal. Yes. And I mean, uh, at uh, one of the better uh, planes at tier six. 
I mean, overall, uh, just a good plane, period. Mm -hmm. Um, like I was and, uh, playing the other day, and there was a flight of XP 54s going up against me. Like, great. The the one game I flew my XP 55s, I get the freaking flight of the dual premium heavy fighters. <laughs> right. Okay, there's. There's that. By the way, squall now I gotta... line. Yeah, I'm uh. I let's see. I see you off in the distance. I see this. Uh, what do I? What do we want to do here? We're gonna. We're probably gonna take that. Take that uh, garrison over in the far corner there. The the northeast corner. I'm probably. I'm over on the northwest corner, which is not okay. been capped at all. So I'm gonna. Oh, uh, we got. Got some folks doing some stuff over here that I don't like. I just need to watch out for the 109F. I think he's going to keep chasing me. There's an XFL in the distance there, not coming after me, so I'm not going to worry about him too much. I love oh, two-shotting boomerangs. Oh my god. I got, uh... I got owned a little bit right there. I don't know what the hell was shooting at me, but... There's the XFL. No. Nice work. Oh. So we've uh Well, there goes my engine. I'm I'm dead here. Yeah, that's a uh that that's a the downside, one of the downsides of the XP fifty four. It's got a delicate engine. And mm -hmm. having a rear mounted engine is it's you know, it's it's kind of a pain. But overall it it used to be super overpowered. Now I would call it closer to balanced and i'm not going to say balanced i'm going to still say that it's it's pretty strong at tier yeah but it can be defeated and if you know what you're doing you can defeat it uh but in the hands of a good pilot well pretty much like any other plane in the game in the hands of a good pilot you're gonna you're gonna wish you hadn't clicked the battle button let's put it like that you're gonna That's, go and uh, do 3 8 and i'll go uh, it, you you've given me a uh you've given me an excuse to do it <laughs> uh, uh, I'm I mean, gonna, we're talking about premium planes. That is a premium yeah, plane. Yeah, that's right. I, I won't feel dirty uh, flying it. We, we are actively so the, doing an analysis on the performance of premium planes and whether or not they are, in their current state, are these specific ones healthy for the game. Right. Now, I would argue that, so when we talk about, when I talk about overpowered, sometimes I my bias for energy fighting seeps into that. And that's why I say the P-38L, I, I believe, is, is overpowered. However, the P-38 requires a particular flying style. It's not like climbing into an XP-54 and just being able to turn turn and burn, right? Mm -hmm. you, actually have to, you actually have to use energy in the P-38. And because of the slow regeneration of boost, you have to think about pushing that mm -hmm. W key. Yeah, a P-38. And so, P-38 doesn't turn, and because of the boost penalties that you have for using it, you better have a, you better have all of the energy you need to either take someone out on the first pass or crit them. Because otherwise, if they're another energy fighter, or if they're a heavy fighter, they are going to get on your tail and chase you. Now, one thing I want to hear your thoughts on is, like, where does the XP-55 sit in your mind in regards to, like, premium balance and all that? Because you can get the XP-55 for free. Right. So. I, I have always loved it uh, because it's it's turny, but it's also good uh, at altitude. Um, it, it's, it's got surprising altitude. It's... It's pretty turny, and uh, the guns are good. Um, I, I have found it to be a little fragile, but... Uh, well, it's a turn fighter. They're typically made of paper yeah. anyway. Yes. Uh, and it's, in my mind, uh, a balanced piece of kit, and the best part about it, it's free. Yeah, it's, right? like, it's a I free mean, you premium can... you can earn, and then in Crete and then train pilots get more silver for flying it. And, you know, yeah. it's not unkillable, but it it's hard to kill, especially when specialized, because I've got mine turning at 100, right? 
Yes. So like, it, which, which is very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's a very good number. Oops, I made a mistake. Oh, that typically gets you killed. Yeah, luckily it was against a bot, so I didn't have to didn't have to monkey with it too much. No, I L one. Oh, I didn't notice that we had a, uh, a ME four ten out there that that was uh, uh, ME four ten that was uh, that was a human player. Yeah, there was a little bit there where I thought this was a bot match, but it turns out it's not. It's actually a, a player. No, we've got. Uh oh. Ooh, ran. That was Sorry close. That. It was close. I, I I zigged right when you did. Yeah. That was a bad idea. You zigged, I zagged. The moves were not compatible. Yeah. Fortunately, we didn't yeah. collide. No, I I uh, somehow figured it out, or you figured it. I don't know what happened, but it, it it didn't. Whatever didn't happen was great. I pitched my nose up and uh, man 100 maneuverability. I I know that, that that's really great. I I'm, I'm actually surprised that you could get it to that good. Um, I, really I actually am. had it 101, but because I run polished skin to speed it up a little bit, I suffer a little bit. For that. Yeah, that the, you, you've got a point. That's a, it, It's it's kind of like, slowish. Technically speaking, Ish. I could get it to turn tighter. I just don't need it to. Right. All right, buddy. You were attacking me earlier, and now you're going to get yours. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like, technically speaking, yeah, if I wanted to maximize the turn fighter in the turn fighter fight, I would try to get 101, 102 maneuverability on this thing. Switch out the polished skin for, like, a reinforced skin or something like that, you know? Just to, that way I don't lose maneuverability, uh, but I'm more durable as a result. But I hate feeling like I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. So I put polished skin on way too many airplanes. Uh, some of them you arguably don't really want polished skin on them, but I do it anyway because they feel slow, and I hate feeling slow. Yep. No, I, I totally hate you. I'm, I'm much the same way. I have, uh, in the past, uh, often uh, put uh, uh, polished skin on turn fighters. And, so, you know, my clanmates go, what are you doing? That's, that's dumb. And I, it's like, I like to get where I'm going. It's like, I, uh, when I go full throttle in the boost, I get close to my top speed flying level, like, 90% of the time. Huh. Wow. So uh, JU-88A has got, uh, has decided that it likes me. <laughs> that was a quick match. <laughs> yeah, no, we, uh, I mean, it was, it was easy. Yeah. And... All we had to do was camp the plant, and and those guys really they could have gone around the outside and, and did the cap 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 thing. Well, the but problem was I was going around the outside to. doing the cap cap cap. You, well, you were there guarding you go. the plant. I was uh, I was killing anyone that got near the zones that I was over. It's like like again, this is when premiums really become a problem when you combine them. So this this is another plane that that uh, I, the the Sakin. <laughs> which is a, a plane that if you have the skill to fly a uh, uh, an energy fighter this plane will absolutely rock no like this uh, is the plane the red that team's can, world this is the plane that convinced me to finally go down the 109 line I see yeah, yeah I no, got that's, this first yep no it's a it's a it's a great plane uh, if I'm flying I, I, I'm gonna tell the truth if I'm going to fly tier six and I want to fly uh, BF 109, I'm going to fly the F. I, 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 and that's a that's just my own bias. But the S 199 is a fantastic aircraft. Um, it depends on how you fly it too. Uh, do you fly it clean or do you fly it with the bombs? Uh, I fly it with the bo I hate the bombs, but I fly it with the bombs because you know it's a multi role. Sure. I I yeah. can at least take out smaller targets with them. Sure. And plus, I have no, a P4, I have my old P forty seven pilot in here because I got married over, over the past couple of months. Oh yes. So yep. I, I put my old P forty seven pilot in here, and he's got a bomb skill, which makes the bombs do more damage. So. I see. Okay, that's uh, so so that that was one of my comments about this particular plane is that I felt that the bombs were kind terrible. of weak. <laughs> the bombs um, are terrible. <laughs> 
and, and the 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 penalty you pay uh, for taking along the performance penalty that you pay uh, makes me mad. So I haven't noticed it that much in regards to performance negation for having the bombs equipped. Like I'm sure it's there, right? And I'm sure the plane would fly a little faster if I took the bombs off. Um, yeah. But having the bombs there isn't enough to isn't enough of a deficit to stop me from flying the S199 like it's an energy fighter. Right. I like to think of it of if if the BF109 and the P51 were kind of merged into the same airframe because it's got the it's got the maneuverability of the 109 line. But its guns are arranged so radically different from that that it's more like a P-51. Yeah, and I, I like the guns better on the Sakin than I do on the uh, on the uh, 109F. Yes, I, I agree. I, agree. I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it, it's a shame. And if I were to if I were to ask uh, Wargaming to buff any one aircraft, if I could just ask for one aircraft to be buffed. Probably the Friedrich would be my would be my choice because I don't blame you. It, and uh, the problem is is that if you give it too much, it becomes uh, meta. It's yeah, it becomes it becomes overpowered in tier, and the the, the light fighters are pretty much all kind of weak at tier. Um, I, I think they all should be a little bit stronger, but you know that that's that's an argument and that's a that's a whole nother discussion right yeah that, that's mean, like what we were talking about earlier that that that's another like in regards to like the game design and game balance this is why i kind of wish you had your own channel that you'd make content for because you could have these discussions all the time with yeah whoever you want. no i i i am uh it, one of the problems is coming up with it for me at least is coming up with content that's that's number one and number two uh being able to talk at the same time that I'm that I'm actually fighting, right? Right. It's a it's a thing um, that I'm I, I'm just not good at the at the flying and talking at the same time. I can fly and I can talk, not at the same time. So luckily, lucky for us, these uh, these battles have been fairly easy. And the competition we've faced has not been too fairly stout. Fairly light. Fairly light competition, <laughs> to be completely honest. We haven't really... And, and to be fair, we've flown some planes that are really strong, and and we haven't had to... Uh, we haven't had to, like, push too hard. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the other thing, too, is that, is that when you and I are, are playing, and when we played before... Um, we played sometimes played some planes that weren't really great for that particular tier, uh, and we didn't have as good a we didn't have as good a uh, flight as we could have. Um, but in this particular case, all the ones we've chosen seem to have uh, seem to have been good choices mm -hmm. for the for the maps we got, like this one. I mean, you couldn't have picked a better map for for fighters, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, we got really lucky with the map generation for this specific setup we're running right here. Right. Uh, when I was uh, playing the, the the P-47 Bravo, we, we, got a good, we got a good set of maps for the P-47 Bravo. Mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> Which is good, also good a good map for me in the XP-54, too. Yes. Yes. And so, so folks out there, uh, map... Uh, the maps you get when you play... Matter. It, it does... It matters. <laughs> It matters a lot. If you're flying oh a light gosh. fighter and you unfortunately get a map with a military base and two and two mining plants, you ain't doing this squat. Right. Oh, I stuck myself in like a dope. See, I was talking and uh, oh, you, I was talking and yeah, your, your <coughs> health is low. Ah, it is low, and I'm oh, you're in the middle here of I am. hornet's nest. Yes, I sure am. They're they're bots, but they, they they're still dangerous. <clears throat> I, uh, I I flew in the middle there, and I didn't notice that there was that there were actually four bots waiting for me, and so I uh, yeah. that was dumb. Yeah. Don't be like Corvus, people. <laughs> pay attention that's, to uh, where you're flying. <laughs> yeah, pay, pay attention to what you're doing. Use the mini map. That's what it's for. Uh, Even if you're like talking, I said, look around. It that's part of my problem is that is that uh, flying and flying and talking sometimes is hard for me. 
So th this is one of those examples of, of that. Okay, so I've got to... Here's something. Oh, and I've got to... <laughs> now they've all decided to come over here. <clears throat> I was going to say I, uh, I was going to drag this uh, LA-5 up to the stratosphere and have and have my way with it. Um, but the, uh, the, the I was going to do some uh, discussion about how you can use a cannon, the cannon-equipped Mustang, to do Mustang things. Except now you get to use 20 millimeter cannon, which hit really hard. Yeah, no, the, the Mustang 1A, I got it over the course of the Tempest event. Got it yes. from a crate. It hits so damn hard. Like, it does. Like, it hits harder than the P-51A, but I feel yes. like it's a little slower than the P-51A. Just a little, little, little uh, bit. It is slower, and it, and it has less altitude. Yeah. And uh, it, it, I don't think it hurts it too much. No, it doesn't. It still does... It still does Mustangy things. Literally, I just fly it like it's a P-51A, and uh, and I do really well in it. Kind of like how I, yeah. I fly the uh, S-199 like it's a P-51, and I do incredible in this plane. Like, I think I had it specialized within the week I got it. No tokens, just playing it. Yeah. Yeah, that poor, uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> so, uh, somehow I was goofing around and, uh, it got third place. How's that possible? Uh, somebody probably just scored more points than either of us because I got second. Yeah, it's a sh I, probably Chevrons. Yeah. I'm guessing Chevrons. Yeah, because I didn't get a Chevron. I don't think I got a Chevron. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was just, uh, it, 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 I knew it was an all about battle, so I, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention as much as I normally do. <laughs> that's uh, that's the downside to. Uh, oh yeah, Ratislav in his uh, IL-2T got two chevrons, even though he only scored uh, 4,800 personal points, which is which is pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, like planes like the S199 and the Mustang 1A, I would say are fairly balanced between two uh, They're absolutely balanced. There's and, like uh, there's not really that much I would want to see changed on either of those planes, right? No, no. I mean, um, for the S199, the only big thing is, like, my big complaint with all multi-rolls is the altitude range, the yeah. altitude bands. I hate how low the altitude band is for multi-rolls in general. Yes. I know it changes from plane to plane and specific parts you could put on it. Like, I could put a mixed engine boost nozzle thing and I could increase my altitude performance, but uh, I, st I still feel like buffing it by, like, a thousand feet would help for all multi yeah, that, across it all. <clears throat> right. No, that's uh, it, so that's in essence uh, 300 meters. I think that that's that's absolutely uh, a, a, a great compromise. They'll still be lower, mm -hmm. still be lower than, than than light fighters, but but better. So they can they can participate in the battle more as a multi role instead of a Hey, let's wait until uh, something gets down to our to our level. Because right now, for multi rolls, it's you either play them like they're a ground attack craft, or you get one of the lucky few that are capable of fighting like fighters. And there's not that many yeah. of those. Because like, I would like to not get punished when I try and fly my P forty seven Bravo as an energy fighter, please. Thank you. <laughs> like, now, if we if we want to talk about Japanese premiums, the the one I like the most is actually in tier seven. And that I got it over the, there was a weekend, there was, there was like two weeks back in like February where they were like, you can complete missions to unlock this plane, and I did it. And uh, I really enjoy this specific Japanese heavy fighter, Tier 7. Which I you, guess sir, you... are insane. It's an, You have insanity right there. I'm going to have to disagree with you because, <laughs> man, I cannot make that thing work for the life of me. And every time I try to hit with those guns, it's like I'm cursing at the screen. Damn it! War gaming, I hate you. Well, this is a terrible airplane. Currently, I've got it set up because uh, we had bomber escort, right? Uh, yeah. So currently, I've got a uh, I've got engine armor on it, but I also Kay. have I have gas operated action and bolt carriers. Huh. This the heavy fighter Ki ninety four, I would argue is a very balanced premium. Not oh I there's no argument there. 
Not strong, yeah. not weak though. Balanced. And my my, uh, my argument, uh, my counter argument with you on this particular one is that it's a tier seven plane. Yeah. Which means that it often gets to see those damn tier eights, yeah. all of those tier eights, and then it gets owned yes. repeatedly by the damn tier eights. Uh, now, when it plays top tier, I'll agree it's it's pretty good top tier. But man, I've played it so much bottom tier where it's like I just want to cry because it right. just makes me just makes me nuts. To... Well, you can make that argument for any tier seven though. Yeah, you, well, not the one I'm flying right now. The one I'm flying right now is actually uh, oh yeah the K six. At... Yeah, that's another yeah. one on my list of planes that I think is just too strong at the moment. Yes, it's like yep. they it the K six needs a nerf, folks. I'm sorry to say it. It's just. It, it, it's too maneuverable and it hits too hard. Yep. Especially for tier seven. Especially for um, tier seven. Now tier eight still clobbers it. So I'm not going to say it's like super overpowered, right? We're not dealing with a right. P61 here, but at the same time on tier, it's too strong. Yeah. You get, you, you just fly around and own stuff. It's a, you get kill bombers. Uh, you kill, uh, you, you kill, uh, ground attackers. You just fly around, and it's pretty much a, uh, a heavy fighter in a light fighter body. With the maneuverability of the 109 line, which is already good maneuverability as it is. All right, let's see here. we got to probably want to think about this a little bit because uh, that, that other team composition is actually pretty decent. They don't have a player bomber, but they have a 265 player... Tornado yeah. and the XP 55 is probably the big one. It, if the, it depends. It, if, if we if we fight yeah. his fight, we're gonna lose. But my, my my thinking is if if I were on that team and I were flying the the ME 265, um, uh, I I'd, I'd like my chances because all of us are gonna be up here, mm -hmm. right? And he's gonna and, be down there. And, and he'd be down there hiding from us mm -hmm. so and i don't want to give up my altitude advantage too much because uh the tornado is super good if it's flown by a, a competent pilot and um i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to be uh, on the wrong end of uh, of a tornado pilot because it maneuvers too mm -hmm. right yeah uh, yeah i've heard the uh the british multi-row line is one of the better options yes uh, maybe even not even the downside of the line is the uh, is the Seahawk. The Seahawk is harder to to make work. Well, heck. I was hoping to get here before they before well, they got us. An XP fifty five. He's turning down on you. Okay. I took a swipe at him earlier. He, uh, he should be low. There you go. Yep. Uh oh, when I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Uh, don't head on the K6, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't head on a K6. That's that's bad, just bad about idea. as bad as head as heading on a 102. Or yep. might even be worse, honestly. Uh, I've attracted uh, I've attracted some attention. Yeah, the ADA uh... just spawned. No, I've got a, I've got an actual player. Oh shit! Really? Not a, yeah. Not a player, but a, but a. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it's gonna turn. Okay. I was gonna go over to uh, get some wrench because I'm uh, low. Yeah, uh, because... you can do that. <clears throat> I. Uh... Aha! Here we go. Now I'm gonna go over to this other command center. Go over to this P40 and take some shots at it. And boost away All right. I can't nope. There's one P40 low. You found him. All right. I want to. Now I've got. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? My uh, got a multi-role guy here that's that that is not helping himself. I want him to drag this, uh... Oh my gosh. 
Thank you. Yeah, I had that guy one health. Man, it's really pissing me off. That's a, the our our multi roll is just turning and and spinning, and it's like, that's because dude, all you got to do is straighten out. It's because they have this. Yeah, they We have a dumb bot. Yeah. We have a dumb bot because one of them disconnected the tornado. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, well, well, not all makes sense. Yeah. Well, not not all of it, just most of it. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know, they lost a player, which means we lose a bot. Yeah, the tornado. See now, if the tornado does stuck around, I think they would have. I think they'd have had a better chance. I'm not even sure if the tornado died after Squall. I think he just kind of left. Did he? Yeah. The airfield is out. All right. Utilize this advantage. I'm gonna dive down and grab some wrench. Well, all of the players are dead officially. It's just you, me. On our German spin against a bunch of bots. I see. All right. Well, I guess we can relax a little bit. Yeah, we're we're gonna win by points anyway. Yeah. No, I I really uh I really want to uh really want to congratulate Skirless Biltrat for his uh, name <laughs> for his awesome name. <laughs> um, and uh and, and um console him for uh, his, the the team that he didn't get. Yeah. It looked like, at the beginning of the match, it looked like that was going to be a great team on their end. That's what I thought, too. But uh... and, and look, look, see, look at my score. It's like, I... Look, guys, I did not even try in this game. I was I was like flying around doing dumb stuff. Yes. Right? And that... And, and, when, when the premiums like the K6 get to the point where you don't have to try and you do well, yeah. that's when an individual premium becomes a problem. I, I agree with that. At least in the KI-94-1, I had to try. <laughs> yeah. No, you, and you do. You do have to try with that plane. I, Like I said, I think you're, uh, you're absolutely insane for liking that plane at all. I mean, I um, did pretty well. Argue. I will. I, I support... I support everyone's uh, choice of plane and uh, <laughs> and I love you for it but you're still insane and I'm not going to agree with you <laughs> uh, yeah this it's, is this is about it, the only Japanese plane I've enjoyed flying and I haven't even really gone down that tech tree at all I only have premiums I only have like four or five premium Japanese planes and this is the only one I enjoy flying out of them all I'm gonna light up what I consider to be one of the most overpowered planes in the whole game. Oh, really? At tier five? Oh, yes. At tier five. Just, just hold your, hold yourself there. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, went too far. When you're scrolling through planes. The P40N? P40N. You'll pardon me if I'm a little surprised at the idea okay, of the so. 40 Actually, I'm going to go for Bowfighter 5, which is new for me. Oh, no, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Yeah, no, I, I, I got the I got the bundle for D-Day. Oh, sure. And yeah, yeah. I already had the 1A, which is part of the reason why I got it, so I could just get some gold. Uh, but I, I have the pilot for the E3, I have the pilot for the 1A, and I have the Bowfighter 5 and the HE-111. I'm having a lot of fun in this Bowfighter 5. Yep. I, I wouldn't it's, uh... say it's it's strong at tier, for sure, because it's got, like, those uh, dual tier 6 cannons on it. Yep. But is it overpowered? No. No, because it's slow and its altitude's not as good as, as other heavy fighters at tier, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of competition. Yes. There, there really is quite a bit of competition the at tier. The Bowfighter 5 is dangerous when both of its front cannons and that turret are on the same target. Yep. That's when it's dangerous. And also, I can kind of just orbit around the target and let the turret finish them off with my initial pass and the blow. Like, but, uh... I would say, in regards to premium, you know, you can't go wrong with a Bowfighter 5, but you can easily be punished in the Bowfighter 5. Yep. Uh, good, good, uh, good pilots will figure out how to get you where they can't, where that turret can't get at you. And there's a um, lot of blind spots on this turret. There, there's a lot of blind spots. Um, 
uh, it, they are susceptible to sharking. Uh, they're also susceptible to boom and zooming because they're not that fast. And their altitude's not the best. Right. So. Oh, and you have no ordnance, so. Right, that's true too. Can't do squad about mining plants unless I'm bomber hunting over them. Yep, that's and that's exactly what you do is you you bomber hunter over them, and that's what makes the P40N a pretty good plane because it's fast, it's got good altitude, but the guns. So, because it's a uh, multi-role, um, so it's it, it's it's essentially the P40, right? Yeah, and the P40 is uh, a really good airframe. Yes, it's it's very good. It's it's super good. Um, and not only is it super good, uh, it's, I would say, one of the best light fighters at tier. Um, Handling. I think a, a specialized P-40 can go up against tier 6 and come out on top. I've done it. I agree. I, I agree. And and it's uh, it's good for hybrid play, like uh, how, how I would say um, both boom and zoom and turning. Depend, of course, depending on your depends uh, on your build. depending on your uh, on your build, yeah, and and it also a bit. Oh, what do we got? Oh, brother! It's like I can't. Uh, I absolutely can't get away. Oh, <laughs> that's Spitfire from the Spitfire. Yeah, that's the problem with these Except middle I am tiers. Gonna get away. Is the uh, if you can't beat a Spitfire with altitude, you can't beat the Spitfire. Well, that's the thing. It's it's not going to climb up here. Oh, he's, he's climbing. He's climbing. I'm going to take some pot shots at him. He, he can try, but he's not going to... Has he noticed me is the question. No. Oh, gosh. Oh, damn it. Oh, get, get him in the zone at least. So anyway, this P-40, it's got all the benefits of a, of a regular P-40. He's about to be in the zone. Okay. If you want to turn around behind me and take him out, I'll get the bomber if, when my tail gets okay. repaired. Uh, <laughs> right. He's low. Oh, it's actually a dude. Yeah. That's probably why he was chasing you up, because, like, he was trying to get you, and he just doesn't have the altitude bonus. Of course I get my kill still on the freaking thing. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. Yeah. It wasn't me this time. Mm -hmm. I, uh... Oh, there's, I have there's been a dude in the zero right there. Kill a... Kill a... To steal a few kills. Alright. So that's the, 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 so the, I was saying about this before we got, uh, before we got all crazy, is that this plane gets, unlike any of the other um, tier five, uh, tier five fighters, gets a gun slot. Oh, all right. okay, yeah. So now, now I'm going to put gas operated action in it, right? Uh-huh. And if I got gas operated action in it, uh, I now get a lot of bullets. Fair enough. I think I'm getting dove by a Spitfire, and uh, I don't have the airspeed to get away. Yeah, air. My turret's hitting them. Yeah, and I'm hitting them too. Goodbye. Nice. Uh, six you drag him. health. Six health. There you go. I, You're a winner. I, there's no repair on this field, which sucks. Because I'm low and I'm slow and I can't get fixed. Yep. That's me, low, slow, and out of ideas. That's uh, that's how I play this game. <laughs> All I know is I gotta get back to altitude before I get sniped.
No, nope, I like this plane uh, because of the fact that it's got crazy, and I mean crazy guns. Does it have and ordnance, or is it just guns on it? It does. Oh. It, it does. It, it, you can you can take, I think, some really crappy rockets. So it's kind of like the um, the Russian P-40, where you can have ordnance strapped onto it and stuff. Yep. Uh, I don't. I never played it with ordnance on it. Never. All right. Well, we seem to be doing something. I'm just defending this mining plane. No, that's great. Um, yeah, that, like I said, this this particular plane, it's it, it can go after bombers. The guns are so good that it can go after bombers. It's uh, it's speed and um, and altitude performance means that it can that it can avoid. Uh, Heavy fighters uh, being boom and zoomed by heavy fighters. It's, I mean, yeah. It's a plane you would highly recommend. Uh, man, if you're if you're a light fighter fan, which I am, as we all know, and you like energy fighter, which I am, as we all know, it's it's really damn good. It's like you can't you really go good. wrong with it. The fact that's the correct. We have complete control of the skies. Way to go. The fact I'm still alive is kind of a shocker considering how low on health I've been for the past minute. The, uh, the Spitfire guy playing way up above his altitude was a giant mistake on his part. Yeah. Uh, he shouldn't have been you, climbing you after you. He shouldn't have been climbing after me. Right. And no, you, you you got you got to play in your you, you, you got to stay in your lane, folks. The, stay in your lane. The one time he had, I was actually in his altitude, uh, he was getting hit by my turret, and you came in, just took him out. Yep. No, that's and, and that's the thing too is that, uh, I, as I said in the beginning, the the biggest force multiplier in this game is is flighting up. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you you, it's. That's why you can only fight with one other person, of the same right. tier. That, of the same tier. That's why there's so many restrictions on it. Because, uh... Oh, yes. No, it used to be that you could uh, you could cross tier. Mm -hmm. So... And uh, it used to be uh, more than just two people. Right. Which it used to... I remember in 1.x, it used to be three. Yeah. I, I remember one of those 1.0 games, and I was alone up against a flight of three. Yep. I, I died within the first minute of the match and left. Oh, yes. No, no, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am I am absolutely familiar. So l let me circle back to this to the P40N. Mm -hmm. The P40N uh, by the fact that it gets a gun slot, and and it uh, it has this, essentially the same performance as a very good tier five light fighter, mm -hmm. means that it is in essence a better version of that tier five light fighter, and in my opinion is the most powerful even though it's a multi-role light fighter in um in tier five and uh and i would uh, i would say that it probably needs either a speed or an altitude nerf to bring it more in line with let's say the xp xp 77 which you know we, we i did okay with it but not uh Except so for that stupid at the, the end. Um, the P40N is like an overpowered tier five premium compared to the rest of I, that tier. I, I would, I yeah, I, I would say so because I can I can fly this thing effortlessly and and still win. Right, which, and that that's that that's the that's kind of my test. Which so far uh, as, in our conversation, the uh, the test on whether or not a premium plane is broken is how much effort if you can put in like five percent effort to get 90 percent success rate it's a broken plane yeah. that needs to be nerfed ladies and gentlemen that is it for this episode uh it's a this episode was a little different i want to thank corvus for coming on and talking about this rather large uh subject with me uh if you want to see the full unedited conversation you can check out my second channel f23 hunter where i talk about 
well, where where I just kind of upload it, whatever I want, and I'm uploading the entire two and a half hour recording session and conversation, tangents and all, there. So please go check that out, and uh, I hope you remember to like, subscribe, and if you're here to the end of this video, I don't know how or why. Thank you.